Okay, so here we go. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make ourselves a mining drill and uh, then probably go out and do some looting. Uh, it is around noonish or very early afternoon. As you can see, I now have three chickens here. Uh, so we have the uh, the hen house or the animal pen, whatever you call it, uh, completely full. Um, so I'm hoping that these, uh, these clucks here will start uh, making some eggs for us. Uh, we did get attacked by one of the hunters uh, very early this morning, and we were able to repel the attack. And they didn't really do do a whole lot of damage, which is good. And then I went out and found that other chicken. And I'm just kind of watching to see, you know, if we're going to get uh, another attack. Um, but I thought I'd bring you back now, uh, get the drill made, and then we are going to um, do a little bit of looting until tomorrow morning. And then the plan for tomorrow morning is that we're going to go raid Charlie. So that is the plan. Um, I don't know. It was either Alpha or Charlie that raided us this morning uh, because it kind of came from that direction. But I couldn't tell for sure which one of them it was because I was um, actually uh, swimming across the lake to go looting when I saw them. So I, I kind of swam back, but I wasn't sure which way they came from. So anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's get that stuff going here, and uh, you know we're gonna want a full day to hit Charlie, so that's something we want to you know do in the morning, of course, and um, yeah, maybe with a little bit of luck they'll attack us tonight after midnight, so that would thin them out, but you know I'm not counting on that, but we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Finish cutting this wood here, and then we'll go on in and see what we need to make that drill. Um, I'm going to have the drill work on water for us, and once we get a you know a decent stack of water, uh, then we're going to do our next uh, another cave expedition. Uh, plus the fact that you know it's um, it's July now, um, and I'm getting hot a lot and going through a lot of water, so it'd be nice to just have a big gold stack of the. Uh, Disposable water, uh, as opposed to having to carry about uh, you know a bunch of canteens around. All right, so let's see here. Uh, we'll pop that in there. That can go in there. That can go in there. This can go in here, and that can go in there. All right, so what do we need to make ourselves a mining drill? Let's take a look at that. Mining drill is going to cost us ten boards. Two sir. Oh, we need uh, a little bit more mass so what I'm gonna do for that is how much mass do we have okay we need 13 more mass so if we go that would give us uh, that would give us 13 if we just put that in but if we turn this into sticks let's do like 10 sticks here uh, which will actually you know turn into 20 sticks and uh, that'll probably give us what we need. Maybe even just a, a smidge more. Okay, what else do we need for the drill? We need uh, 10 boards. Okay, so we got boards here. And we need 10 of these. And we're going to need to make some rope and some electronics. So for the electronics, we need... Uh, two. Oh, copper. I've got uh, quite a bit of copper. I got a full stack there, full stack of ore, and then overflow in here. So we've really uh, done well with getting the copper. Okay, so we'll make two of those. And then put this back in here. Uh, we needed some rope too, right? What kind of rope? Three rope. Ooh, that's going to be kind of expensive, but we can do it. We still have 35 sinew left over even after that. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, 
we'll put the rest of this back in here <coughs> excuse me all right let's just throw this in, in here and what does that get us up to yeah we've we've actually spent some mass oh they're coming okay they're coming uh, we spent some mass making that other stuff so we'll have to you know let it build back up okay so that that has got to be Charlie because alpha's up there so this is actually yeah the problem is is we just don't have enough time we won't have enough time to raid them today it's too bad they didn't come in the morning but yeah it's got to be that's got to be Charlie because you know alpha's base is there so they would either start there or there and of course Bravo would come this way so all right well that's fine we'll take these guys out and then we'll probably just have to deal with all of them tomorrow since they won't likely attack me the very next day again all right so they're both dead they didn't even have a chance to get a shot off that's good though because what that means is we've basically had two two attacks today and you know, we we'd only we would only get one more attack today, if even that. Meaning that if I'm out and about doing some looting and stuff, they're not, you know, one one set of hunters attacking the base is going to do minimal damage, compared to all three of them attacking us at the same time, which seems to happen more often than I would like it to. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Those items can go in there. That can go in there. We can. Uh, I have two full stacks of weapon parts, so we can feed these into here. All right. Uh, let's grab our circuit boards out of here. So let's see. We've got everything now. Oh, what happened to the boards? Did I, oh, I must have just. I must have put them back in here. Did I? Yeah, I must have. Okay. Uh, and tin scrap. There we go. Okay, so we have everything. We just need 120 mass. And this is up to 105, so we need 15 more mass. So why don't we do... Um, let's do another 10 of these. And that's... I think we're going to probably need at least one more. And we'll give that a try. So yeah, if you guys didn't see a couple episodes ago, I demonstrated that if you uh, convert logs into sticks, uh, you get a little bit more mass than if you just put the logs straight in. And the nice thing about, you know, making sticks is that it craft, they craft pretty quickly too. So it doesn't really take you that much more time to get, get a little bit more mass, you know? Okay, so wait for this last one. And what does that give us? That gets us up to 119. Can you believe that? 119, okay. We'll do one more thing of sticks. And there we go. That should give us our 120. Wait, what? It didn't go up. Try it one more time here. There we go. 120. Okay, here we go. Let's make ourselves a mining drill. Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, that's already already full. Okay. Um, so let's get that back on so we can start building our power back up uh, we got a liver why don't we actually make uh, let's make five liver and onions okay let's grab our drill And we're going to just put this 
right. I did move the uh, the animal pen. It was over here. I moved it over here a little closer to the base. Um. Okay. So. Oh, this has. To, this is gonna have to go up here. Oh, is this the same kind of thing where it does? It, we can't put it on the stone. Ooh. Okay. Well. All right. Um. It does make for kind of an odd placement, but I guess we could put it here. Excellent. Okay. So, oh, you know what? Yeah, that's right. We got to wait for it to to drill down first. Yeah, we got to wait for it to to, to drill down uh, before it it gets to the stuff where we can start making it. I forgot about that, and that's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, you can kind of start to see this little gauge fill up, uh, and that uses 0.5 power. Once it drills down, we should be able to get to the upgrades, and we can make it more efficient and that sort of thing. Okay, well, um, it's getting dark, so let's just let's just do a little bit of prep work for Charlie. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make a breaching charge. Um, so we're going to need an ingot, circuit boards, six gears, and eighty gunpowder. All right, so let's just grab all of that and all of that. And, um, whoops. Okay, so. Uh, can we make another one of these? Nope, we need 15 mass. Okay. I have 103 wood. I don't like my wood to go below 100. Um... So I guess our options here are we could turn this on to get the mass back up. We only need 15 to make those. Oh! And another attack. Whoops. Pick it out the door. Alright. This is, this is almost certainly Bravo here. Alright. He's dead. Do we have a third guy somewhere? <laughs> nice, we got some rifle rounds back out of the deal. I don't see anybody trapped underneath here. Okay, well, the good thing about all that is that all three of the hunter groups attacked us today, which pretty much means they're not going to attack us at all tomorrow. And maybe not for the next couple of days. No no absolute guarantee, but that seems to be the case. You know, once they all three attack us kind of on the same day, and sometimes at the same time. And then, you know, we have we have a a break for a couple days before it starts all over again. Uh, which is a good time for me to go out, you know, and, and go looting and, and that sort of thing. Okay, so I'll tell you what, um, we're gonna, let's go ahead and make this. But the thing that's gonna hold us up is the mass. Um, well, and even the power to some extent. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to cut the camera. Um, and I might actually wait for a day or two, in-game day or two, before I bring you guys back. Uh, because the thing is, is I, you know, we need to make a breaching charge, and I want to have about four grenades on top of those and a few picks. Not that the picks are a big deal. Uh, before we go after Charlie. So I think I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to cut the camera here and, you know, at least spend a day doing some looting um, and while we let, you know, the, the mass and the power build back up. And I will make the breaching charge and the uh, the other stuff that I need, the, the four grenades. So we want four grenades and a breaching charge and some picks. And then once that's done, then we will go after Charlie. Okay, so I will see you guys in about an in-game day or two. See you in a bit.
All right, guys, we are back. It is two in-game days later, and we are ready to make our fourth and final grenade. So there we go. We pretty much ran us out of gunpowder there. Uh, so we'll have four grenades, uh, a breaching charge, and four uh, spare picks to take with us. Now, we're going to have to break through, I think, a total of four doors, but usually when you start raiding Charlie's chest, you get grenades, and so I'm counting on hopefully getting at least two more um yeah at least two more so so that we don't you know so th that we can basically get into um all of their doors okay so we are going to take our magnum with us um and all of those magnum rounds we're going to take all of our shotgun rounds i think i'm going to leave the svt or rifle or whatever it's called here uh and those rounds just in case the absolute worst happens. We have 100 rounds of 9 mils there. Um, we're, we should be fine on our armored. Uh, our, our vest is getting kind of low, but we should be okay. And then let's see, we have six bandages and three health kits. So I think we are ready to do this. Pretty sure we're ready to do this. Okay, let's go ahead and have ourselves a bacon uh, or steak and eggs. We'll put that in there. And we'll chow down on a couple tomatoes to get our food and all that up. Uh, maybe a couple blueberries too. And yeah, I think we're good to go. So uh, I haven't, uh, you know, haven't been raided for two days. It's it's been peaceful, but we might get we might get attacked today by anywhere from one to all three of them. But hopefully, you know we'll get to Charlie before they get to us. So that way, you know, that we'll take them out before they can get to our base. And then if Alpha and Bravo attack while we're away, I, I think we'll be okay. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, Whew. this is going to be fun. <coughs> our first time raiding Charlie. Yes, indeed. We're going to get, we should get um, some really good loot for doing this because they're, uh, they're best, be, uh, bleep, definitely the most lucrative raid to do but of course also the hardest one as well so we'll get on over there we'll kind of figure out what our plan of attack is going to be um i know one of their claymores is kind of on the left of their entrance they had a claymore on the right of the entrance but last time we were there and engaged them they blew that one up so i don't know where the next one's going to be so we'll have to be you know keep our eyes peeled for that well, I'm not even going to grab that fiber because uh, we're going to need all the space we can get. We might even have to make a couple trips, but it's fairly early in the morning. Um, so we should... I, I'm not too worried about, you know, getting the whole thing done by the end of the day. Even if we do have to run back to the base and drop off some stuff. Okay. We are not going to pass up this ammo crate, however. Let's grab that. Beautiful. And another ammo crate. Look at that. Give us some uh, magnum rounds. No, but I'll take shotgun rounds. I will take shotgun rounds. Probably shouldn't have taken every all of our shotgun rounds, but yeah, we'll be we should be fine. If we as long as we don't you know get super reckless or anything, we should be fine with this fight okay so let's get this ready to go um the thing about these guys is here, let's come over here we can hide behind this rock so we have a little bit of cover oh he moved right when I pulled the trigger that's I hate it when that happens okay damn it Get that back out. Okay, where's that coming from? Crap, they made us bleed again. I hit the wrong key. I think that might be coming from up above. Like someone up in the tower. Look at those building crates there. Oh! Okay, here we go.
Look at him moving back and forth. Okay, we got a good shot off there. Alright, he's down. Oh man, the bleeds. Using up our bandages like crazy. Okay. So, um, anybody else in the immediate vicinity here? There's going to be, you know, multiple guys inside, too. All right, let's grab this. Um, I know I said we need all the space we can get, but I just can't resist <laughs> grabbing these two. Oh, there's another ammo crate, too. These two building crates. Uh, well, I'm, we're almost certainly going to have to make two trips when this is all said and done. I don't really want to mess with the wolf right now. We might have to, though, to get to that ammo crate, which we're going to... Yeah, let's just... Okay. He was in the way. We had to do it. Okay, I saw an ammo crate right here. And we might as well grab this too. Okay, so let's go ahead and carefully approach. I guess we could, I've always blown the other door, not this one. Okay, there's a claymore right there. Oh, I think those are guys are all inside. Oh, I th yeah, there's the claymore right there. And as, you know, those of you who have been watching me for a while now, you know I don't like to blow them up because then I know where they are for next time, right? And I think there's going to be another one over there, too. So, why don't we go ahead and just break in through here. All right, and unbelievable. I forgot to bring my breaching charges and my grenades. Can you believe that? Yes, you guys are saying yes, OG. I can believe that. All right. <laughs> Let me run back and grab that stuff. I'll be back here in just a couple of minutes. For Pete's sake. Can't take me anywhere. Okay, we are back. Uh, we definitely lost some time on that deal, but if we get stuck in here after dark, we'll just have to kill them again. All right, so there's a claymore right there, and I, we saw the one right there. So, I don't think they'll have three claymores. Um, okay, so, here we go. Okay, he's down. I took the opportunity to... Uh, Make myself a few more bandages since we went back to the base, too. This is actually the back door. Okay. Someone just came in or out a door somewhere. Here, let's take this. Okay, we got him. Oh, shit. And we got him. I hear another door closing. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes in here. Where's he coming from? Right there. Okay. That's probably all of them. So let's get uh, all of this stuff first. Nope, there's another one. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of dudes. Is he coming down? Good thing we made more bandages. Okay. Grab that. And grab this. Alright, I think that takes care of all the backpacks 
So, yeah, I mean, if we're stuck here after dark, we'll just hole up and fight him off again. Alright, let's grab the first chest. Woohoo, look at that, baby. Nice. Let's take all of that. Um, we got a whole mess of nails there and some glass. This will be for the thing. Okay, cool. Um, now let's grab this and this and grab these two items. We're not going to really have time to try and use their mass or anything like that. Okay, so this is the first door we're going to bust into. So what I'm going to do, unfortunately we didn't get a grenade out of that deal, but we'll uh, put that one there. And let's start uh, breaking the door down. Okay, here we go. Shouldn't be anybody in here. And, ooh, wow, look at that. Ooh, nice! Look at that, you guys, a solar panel. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so let's grab all the nails first. What we're going to do is we're going to put the, the less important stuff um, in this crate. And then we'll grab as much of it as we can when we get back. So that's... Uh, actually, let's just eat that. Let's eat those. Um, let's drink one of those. So that's not important. That's not important. That's not important. That's not important. Um, honestly, yeah, that's not... I kind of want to keep that. Those aren't. Those aren't. The rest of this stuff will keep with us. Um... Okay, so now, powder, two pad of cloth. Wow, that is really nice. Solar panel. And there's a grenade. Okay, good. That's what I was hoping is we'd get grenades. I do want the gunpowder. Um, uh, yeah, since those stack, we'll take those because we can put them in the mass fabricator. Okay, the rest of the stuff, if we you know can't get out of here with this, not the end of the world. Okay, because we are <laughs> we're running out of daylight. We're going to have to fight these guys again. Okay, let's go up to the next floor here. Um We'll grab all of that stuff. Oh, man, we found a solar panel. That is awesome. Fantastic. Oh, another grenade. All right. You know what? Um, let's see. We're going to have that room and then... Yeah, we have two more rooms we have to break into. So since we have four grenades now... Um, uh, make that five grenades. I don't know how to count. What we're going to do is we're just going to use the nades to, to take the doors down most of the way. It's just going to be better, you know, time-wise to do that. Okay, because that gets the door down to 44. We might actually be able to get out of here before dark. We'll see. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. But yeah, every time I've raided these guys in the past, I always get, a, you know, a couple of grenades out of it, which I can use to get into the next door, so... Nobody in here. Okay. So, can we just... Oh, look. Two grenades. Nice. I mean, just the fact that we found a solar panel, that was worth the price of admission right there. Okay, cool. So, let's go up here and um, eat hash browns and tomatoes. And that's spoiled food. What's in here? Yeah, we'll grab that and that. And then uh, this is the final door up here. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here before nightfall. That's the elevator there. We don't need to do anything with that. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. Grab this. Oh, wow, this is good stuff, you guys. And we were able to grab all of it. That's their lathe, but that doesn't have anything in it. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's vominos. Uh, we'll grab whatever else we can out of... Yeah, I know. That's fine. Uh, what was the other chest that we put that stuff in? I think it was down here. All right. Grab that, that, that. That's a lot of potassium. 
And the rest of it we'll leave behind. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's ski daddle. All right. Awesome. That was a good raid, you guys. And we got a solar panel out of it. Oh, man, I'm so stoked about that. Give me that. Yes, okay. Very successful first raid on Charlie. Very successful first raid. All right, so um, here, let's... uh. Let's get back to the base and we'll we'll just take a quick look at our spoils before I let you guys go. And we're going to have a little bit of damage to deal with too. So, uh, ooh, yeah, we got some fire going on. Um, if those guys are still there when we get back, we'll we'll take them out. But uh, yeah, that was <laughs> that was a really good raid. I'm very pleased with how well that turned out. Looks like that fire's on the water. Anyway, so, you know, I, I, I got another attack, too, when I was breaking down the first door. So Alpha and Bravo have both attacked us now, which, and we haven't, you know, unless they're still there, oh, we haven't retaliated against them. So that means they should stay away from us for, you know, another two or three days, hopefully. But, of course, Charlie's going to be gunning for us, even possibly tonight, but not likely. Um, they'll probably come tomorrow, most likely. But if they come tonight, then we deal with it. We'll use their ammo to to, to fend them off. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, here. Let's get this right here. And uh, let's see if any of these yahoos are stuck under the, under the porch or whatever. Yeah, we got definitely have some damage to fix there, don't we? All right. Oh. All right. Let's take him out. I don't have room to loot his chest. Oh, well, look at the arrows. Nice. Okay. Anybody else stuck? It's just the one guy. Anybody else over here? Probably not. Oh, more arrows. Okay, nice. Wow, they really, <laughs> they really did a number on the base. Uh, doesn't look like anything's destroyed, and I got all three of my chickens still alive, so that's good. Just damaged. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's look in here. Uh, we can grab that and that and that. And honestly, I'm not really too worried about that. Okay, very cool. All right, so let's see what did what did we walk away with, man? Uh, the solar panel was the prize, of course. Do we have a full? Yeah. Okay. So this gives us 20 masks, which is pretty good. Um, these will give us another 16 masks because I already have two full stacks of those. Uh, we got a bunch of glass. We got some gears. We got uh, uh, all of this rifle ammo we got from them because remember I didn't take any rifle ammo. We got three padded cloth, which is really good. That stuff is is like gold. Um, 33 potassium ore, and we got some gunpowder and some casings and uh, some shotgun shells, and we got some magnum rounds back too, and some premium arrows. Really good. Okay, so yeah, first raid on Charlie. Awesome. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go here. Um, I'm going to get the, the base repaired and get ready for Charlie's retaliation and... And then probably take another couple of in-game days off to continue looting and uh, try and build our nail supply uh, back. Oh, look at that. We already have over 300 nails. All right. Well, maybe next episode will be another building episode where, we're continue, where we will continue to expand our base. Look at that, man. That is so awesome. I'm so stoked about how this raid went. It was just great. Um, let's take, before I let you go, let's go ahead and take our shiny new solar panel and we're just going to put it right next to that one uh, for now and you know when it's all said and done we're going to actually have a lot of solar panels put up here um, but that's going to help tremendously um, and we even came back with three grenades too so even better all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we will catch you in the next episode Bye bye